started playing the banjo, well, he just couldn't get the hang of it, but he practiced every day, and he would practice every day before school and then every night before feeding the hogs. Uh, and I'm telling you that uh, we're glad he kept up with it because he's won about every banjo competition in the world. He was a regular on Hee Haw. He's a member of the Grand Ole Opry. Ladies and gentlemen, he's a funny guy. Please make welcome Mike Snyder. I stopped off down at the grocery store just the other day. I was told to pick a few things up and be on my way. So I walked in through them electric doors and I grabbed a shopping cart. Pulled out my wife's grocery list and took off like a dart. I don't usually do our shopping, this was all new to me. But us making a lot of progress already on aisle three. Chicken was the last thing on my list to getting sold. I headed for the poultry section just as hard as I could go. When I got there, I stopped my cart and I stood there for a while. Amazed at all them chicken parts that was stacked up on the aisle. Used to buying a hen really wasn't all this hard. They've done changed that feathered thing it used to scratch around in the backyard. Look what they've done to the Dominic chicken. It's boneless now, skinless too, no longer finger licking. They got chicken tetrazzini and chicken cordon blue. Chicken teriyaki, these is just a name of few. Chicken is a common thing now, just to prove my point. Well, on almost every corner, they're opening up a brand new chicken joint. There's Bojangles, Colonel Sanders, and Lee's famous recipe. There's gizzards, guts, and livers strode out as far as you can see. They're cashing in on the old chicken, I know that for a fact. I've noticed the folks living up north seem trying to get in on the act. The Dominecker hen has been disgraced in perhaps the lowest blow. It's when them Yankees proclaim her little old wings. Come from a buffalo. Look what they've done to the Dominica chicken. It's boneless now, skinless too, no longer finger licking. They got chicken franks, chicken planks, and fingers, well, that's absurd. If a Dominica had a finger, she'd shoot us all a bird. tobacco juice on both sides of the car. Is that what you're telling me? Well, it might be, <laughs> but we ain't got to drive in no more. Wind come along there and blow it down. No. Yeah. What movie was playing? And don't tell me Gone with the Wind. I don't want to hear it. Uh, oh, I think uh, Jaws. Jaws. Oh, it's current. Yeah. How'd you get started in this business now? Well, in the business or get started playing? Just either way, uh, it's all happened at the same time. Uh, Doug, don't ask me hard questions, okay? okay. I just want to know. You're the I, one asking the questions. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, well, I, I got started playing music when I was a kid. I was about six year old. The dog drug an old fox horn up out there in the yard. And I, <laughs> I, whoa, whoa, whoa. A fox horn. Now, that, that's well, it's really a, a cow horn. It's a cow horn, yeah. You call your fox dogs with it, you know. How do you do that? Well, he's, you blow it sort of like a bugle. And I got my dad to show me how to do it. And I, What does it sound like? I just sound like an old cow horn. <laughs> I ain't never heard nothing. It's so, so like a dog barking, you know. And so you played this cow horn? Yeah, I played. Uh, I was playing the Marines hymn on it a little, and Daddy said, this boy might have some talent. So they, <laughs> they took me up and bought me a, a trumpet, and I blowed around on that a while. And I, That didn't work. Well, it's all right. The Gleason didn't have no band. They didn't have no, nobody to play with, you know. <laughs> all I could do was play taps at the funerals, you know. And, and, uh, and with 1,500 people, there weren't many funerals, No, all the veterans died, and I was out of work. <laughs> <laughs> now, 
do you have do you have like television in Gleason? Yeah, yeah. Well, we got television down there. Yeah. What, what's your favorite TV show? The Weather Channel. <laughs> The Weather Channel? Yeah. <laughs> Why? <laughs> well, I, I'm a pilot. I like to watch weather and, and, I, well, and, and being a fly farmer an too, you know. Yeah, yeah, I've got an airplane. Let me know when you're flying. Okay. I'll buzz over your house. No, I wish you wouldn't. <laughs> I, can, I can just hear you in the tower talking. Yeah, yeah. I'll just get on there and say, well, boys, yo, look out. I'm coming in. <laughs> You well, know, that's technical talk. That, yeah. was, that was hard for me to learn how to do is talk to them control tire guys because they, you, you got all this trying to manage the airplane and they say, and I'm sitting there going. So I had a heck of a time learning how to talk to them. And I, after you do it a while, you sort of know what they're going to say and then you kind of expect what to say next. Now, are, are there, are, uh, Gleason is a big town of how many hundred? About 1,500. 1,500. Do you have a police department there? Yeah. Yeah, they've got three down there. Three police departments? No, three men. Oh. And three, three policemen. Yeah. yeah. Have you ever been in any trouble? No. No. No one ever stopped you? or? You... Well, I had one traffic ticket one time. and uh, wasn't in Gleason. is in a big town. And uh, pulled, pulled me over. He said, you got any ID? I said, about what? <laughs> <laughs> You brought a clip about Gleason. I mean, you brought a little film piece. Now, did you did you film this yourself? Oh uh, no, a good buddy of mine, uh, Michael Killing, and some of the folks here at TNN came down Gleason, and we got a little service station that uh, we all hang around in, and uh, y'all can just sort of get a flavor of what life is like oh, down at home. I can't wait. This is, we're going to see a piece of Gleason. Yeah, y'all go ahead and turn it on. Oh yeah, we'll turn it on. Yeah. <laughs> Gleason, Tennessee at the J&P filling station. This is better known as Channel 6. Tom Brokaw ain't got but just a small portion of the news. You can get filled in right down here. <laughs> this is our motley crew. This is Johnny, the man that runs the place. How you doing, Johnny? Fine. What's the hot news in Gleason this morning? Shoot, boy, I can tell you what the news is. Old hired old buddy here, he got arrested yesterday for wetting in the swimming pool. <laughs> and diversified. Take Micah over here, for instance. Micah runs a limo service. Yeah, I got a picture of it right over on the wall. But I tell you what, I, I'm getting kind of ticked at Micah. You know, he's been a star there for a pretty good while now, and he hadn't uh, he hadn't used my limousine service yet. But his, his mama has, but, you know, he hadn't yet. Don't you? Surely he can afford, you know, just one little old ride in it, you know. Well, you get them old bald tires off of it. I'll take a ride in it. <laughs> you know, I've been living in Gleason all my life, and I never have asked nobody when Gleason was founded. Do you know when Gleason was founded, Billy? Well, it hadn't been found yet. <laughs> You know, a lot of folks think the technology hadn't come to Gleason, but I say it has. Just look over here. Johnny, what do you got there? Got my laptop computer. <laughs> let me have that banjo and I'll pick it a while. No, I'll tell you what, Billy. Why don't you let me pick the banjo and we'll get Micah to dance. Wait a minute. We can't get him to dance yet. There's a car pulling up out here. Uh, we'll, uh, we'll, we'll dance outside. Let's go. All
we come back with Primetime Country, we're going to meet songwriters Michael Johnson and Hugh Presswood. We'll be right back. Don't you dare go away. Who are your favorite performers? Be a part of country music's biggest night. Call and make your vote count in the TNN Music City News Country Awards.